All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Uh, as you can see, already on the ice. Uh, wasn't sure what I was gonna be going after today. Um, I did catch a couple fish already, so you guys will be happy about that. But the big thing here is I did start catching some bass on a rip and wrap. Uh, more specifically on a ultralight rip and wrap. My glow that I always use. Um, so I think I'm going to purposely target those guys for a while because I don't ever get an opportunity to do that on purpose. So it seems like they're hanging really close to the bottom. There's a couple of crappie around, but they're not really biting. So I'm going to try and get the, the bass and we'll do a rip and wrap bass day. Oh, you guys like that? Comment below if you like fishing for bass if uh, they're smacking rip and wraps. Hit that thumbs up button for me. All right, let's catch some fish. bait or something on this uh, tuned up customs precision I'm trying to see if there's any active fish right away otherwise I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have a snowmobile now and I'm going to move around until I find some spots uh, hopefully I run into some good fish today wish me luck there you go noise makers okay so I start at this one spot that I know on this lake. This is still a new lake to me, but this one spot's got structure to fish. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw throw my chrome number four rip and wrap down. See if anything smacks that. Hopefully, there's some fish around. Looks like I might be marking some down by the bottom here. Yep, there's a fish down there. Oh, there's a whole school of fish down there. Looks like they're already coming up. Yep. He's too hot. Let's see if this guy commits. Got him. What is it? Oh. <laughs> Big old crappie. Not bad. Okay, for this guy, I'm not keeping anything today. It's a perfect eater. See if we can do it again. I'll try to f teach you guys how to use these ripping wraps. You get them aggressive like this, you just wiggle it in their face. I think I pretty much landed on a school of fish here, so. <laughs> I don't know if it's the rattles or what, but sometimes this, uh, that rattle's a little too aggressive. I'm gonna have to switch it out to something without a rattle. You guys probably seen, if you've been watching the videos, I I used a slab wrap to capitalize on some crappie last time, so I'm going to do that this time. Alright, there's a couple big ones down there. Let's see if we can get one of those. That's a big mark. I bet if I put a jigging wrap down, they'd start eating it. <laughs> going to have to try something different soon. Okay, I switched it to the glow number four rip and wrap tried two different baits so far. We'll see how this one does. That guy got it. Let 
got it sideways. It's kind of how you want them to eat it. I wonder why the other ones aren't eating like that. I want to try and teach you guys how to use this, but they're not doing what they're supposed to do with it. Oh, we got another rusher. Crappies really like that fall. And then if they're chasing, yeah, keep their attention. Was a good hit. Got a fish off the bottom. I don't know what it is. Decided to start fighting kind of hard here. Oh, that's why. Argy. Little guy, but still fun. Smack the crap out of it. Let's see if those bass are all on the bottom there. Another big one. As soon as I get down towards the bottom, it comes up. So I'm going to guess that there's a bunch of bass down there. Just chilling. That's a smallmouth. <laughs> Big old small Joe. That's cool. I was not expecting that. Last one down there was a large mouth. Catches everything. Okay. Let's see how many bass we can catch here. I was going to move around some some different spots this on this lake that I had checked out, but this first spot seems to be working out pretty good, so <laughs> why fight it? That guy smacked it. It's got to be another bass. This is just fun. <laughs> Got himself in the head, but does that two large mouth and one smallie? Didn't reset my drag. <laughs> that was a good hit. <sighs> Not a good hit. That looks like a smaller one though. Huh? Could be wrong. Well, that's like a 12. 
Well, there's like a 12. Now I just got to do that a bunch of times. Still targeting the bass. Like I said, those crappie are down there, but not all of them, not all of them are playing like that. But I'll take them. Well, I got somebody's attention. Looks decent too. He smacked it. Is he still interested? Other guy is. There it is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a lot bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> I don't care who you are, this is fun. <laughs> this is a six pound test. And a 32 inch rod. <laughs> These precisions are good at this stuff. What is this? <laughs> what are you? It's got to be a bass. Yep. This guy's really hit the bait hard. Makes it fun. There you go. There's already one there. That's got to be another bass. I think he bit it once. Get his attention again. Yep. <laughs> this guy's strong. Come here. You smally? Oh, it's a little bit bigger, large mouth. That's just fun. See how many of those guys we can get. So the best part about winter bass is they tend to stack up. That's why I can keep catching this more out of the same hole. It's not the same fish. <laughs> Today is a good day. Okay, fish have s seemingly disappeared from this spot, so I might have to drill some holes, start hole hopping. Alright, let's go drill some holes, move around a little bit.
go hole hop and see what we can find. Okay, so I drilled about 25 more holes <laughs> up and down brake lines out on the flats. Hopefully I can find some more fish. Oh, there's a big one down there right now at my home base. Let's see if we can catch them before I start hole hopping again. Let's get to check it out. Yep. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, geez. What are you? A big fish. Large mouth or small mouth? What do you guys think? Oh. Ooh. That's the biggest large mouth of the day. Okay. <laughs> Definitely hammered it. Oh, he's barely hooked though. <laughs> These days are fun. Oh, got one chasing from the bottom here. what this is. Gotta be a bass. A little guy. There was a really big one down there before it. You guys missed it. Ooh, what's that? That's big. Bigger. play cat and mouse with them. That's a big fish. <laughs> That's a really big fish. That was a bigger mark. Look at the size of that guy. It's like a 15. So much fun. All right. Well, that's what you're looking for. Probably all of 15 inches. I'm going to get the release in this guy. This is too much fun.
so that's uh i don't know i think that's like six or seven i don't know comment below if you guys want to see more of these bass fishing videos on the ice because i know some people don't care because they're calling green carp or whatever um some people are biased small mouth or large mouth i just like catching fish guys <laughs> so it's really hard not to uh you know or hard to change things up um there's a hole here that seems to have like gravel or uh, stuff on the bottom of it and it's holding these large mouths and small mouths and numbers um every once in a while some crappies seem to swim through and everything but mainly bass so i've been coming back to this hole just to catch them because i've been hole hopping and stuff but i was going to change things up and i don't know if i should like i said comment below if you guys want to see more bass fish fishing videos um i think i'm actually gonna i'm gonna call it today on this video um we'll just call this one your your bass day uh, if I catch any more bass, I'll throw them in before this, and you guys will see those too, because why not? But hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of video. Um, what I'm going to do is I have a grid of like 30 or 40 holes drilled, and I'm going to start switching up baits and stuff like that, and see if I can find some different fish. Uh, smallmouth, walleye, crappie, perch, you know, other species. I'm just trying to catch some fish today, basically, is what I'm, what I'm doing. So stay tuned for that video, but hopefully, like I said before, you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to? <laughs>